Sure, what's up guys, in this video I will try to build a tiny 3D printed FPV tank that you can control right from your smartphone. Sounds cool right? So without wasting any time, let's jump straight in. First, let's take a look at the electronic component we'll be using. First the microcontroller. I'm using the Seed Studio Show ESP32C3. The best part, it comes with a camera module that can be mounted on top, making it perfect choice for this project. Next, we need two N20 gear motors. They are small, efficient and powerful enough. To drive the motors, I'm using this compact motor driver featuring the MX1508IC. Lastly, we need a charging module and a 3.7V LiPo battery to power up this thing. That's all the components required for this project. I have provided the links in the description below, so be sure to check them out. Now let's move on to the 3D printing process. Here's the design I created for the project in Fusion 360. Take a look, I think it turned out pretty cool. Let me know what do you think. Now let's 3D print all the parts and bring this design to life. As you can see, all the 3D printed parts turn out really clean and precise. Now before moving on to the next step, let's talk about today's sponsor LTM365. The world's first open electronics hardware development platform that connects your entire team anywhere in the world. Collaborate securely in real time, manage designs and components and streamline your workflow from concept to production. Say goodbye to delays and hello to fast product delivery with LTM365. Design the future with LTM365 where your next great idea comes to life. As for the students, check out LTM Student Lab, get free access to LTM Designer and LTM365 with your university email. Collaborate with friends, earn a industry recognized certificate and boost your career. Click the link in the description to get started. Now back to the assembly process, it was pretty easy, just print all the components in high quality so that all the parts snap perfectly. We need two 685 double Z bearing for the free wheels. Are they called free wheels? Let me know in the comments. Alright guys, 50% of the work is done, now it's time for the electronics. So these are the connections but I want to make this project neat and clean so I decided to make a custom PCB board for this project. So I created the Gerber file of the PCB and ordered it from GLC PCB. GLC PCB is your go-to choice for high quality and affordable PCB manufacturing. Trusted by makers and engineers worldwide, they offer top-notch PCB prototyping at unbeatable prices. But that's not all, GLC PCB also provides PCB assembly, SMD stencils, 3D printing and CNC machining, making it a one-stop shop for all your hardware needs. Simply upload your Gerber file, choose your settings and get your PCB with any color mask for just $2. In just a week, my PCB arrived, thanks to their fast shipping options. The quality is top notch as always, now it's time to install all the components. I'm removing the MX1508IC and other components from the original board and solder them onto the new PCB. Alright guys, the controller board is ready and it looks fantastic. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, I uploaded the code to the board before soldering everything but don't worry we can still upload the codes, it, it just requires a custom cable. 
Anyway, let's install the controller board onto the main unit and wrap up the project. Our mini FPV tank is ready and it's turned out great. But unfortunately, it didn't work as expected. When I power it up and try to connect, nothing happened. It wasn't connecting. Super frustrating. I tried to connecting multiple times and it worked once. Only the camera came on but wheel didn't spin at all. So there is likely an issue with the microcontroller or it might need more voltage supply. So I ended up reprogramming it and ran it without the camera. This time it works but still disconnect occasionally. Despite that, it ran pretty smoothly. I think I have to work on this project a bit more. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this project. I'll be making an improved version very soon and will make all the files available. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this project. Make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more exciting projects. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.